Hello and welcome back to another guide video. In this video, we'll be learning how to escape the grass rooms from inside the back rooms. This guide is based on how I like to play the game. Feel free to change up the order of things as you play. Let's begin. When you start the level, look around the starting room to find an item crate. These crates will be scattered throughout the entire level and are very helpful with resupplying. Make your way to the door and interact with the fuse box next to it. You'll have to press the four switches in a specific order in order to open the door. This will be a trial and error puzzle and it shouldn't take you too long to solve. Continue down the hall to find some lore on the newest entity in the game. Entity 172 or the Devouring Plant. This entity lacks vision so you can easily sneak around it. If it happens to spot you, you can easily outrun it and lose it by taking sharp turns or hiding. When looking for a spot to hide, be sure to look for tall grass. This grass is a suitable hiding place on this level. Make your way to the main room or sector 3. Here you will find many locked doors and pathways. Here you will also have a chance to run into entity 172. Make your way to the upper left room and enter the door. This will take you to sector 5. Take a right to find the storage room. Here you'll need to unlock the door using the same method as earlier. Once the door is open, grab the container of pesticide and loot the room for supplies. Also, be sure to take note if you see a giant red number in this room. You will need this shortly. Leave the storage room and head back to the main room. You will now need to go into an open door located along the wall on your left. Explore this room to find supplies and a dead body with a locked case and a note. The note will tell you where to find three numbers for the combination. Locate these three numbers on the level and then guess the last number. Open the case to find the clippers and then take the clippers and head back to sector 5. Go opposite of the storage room to find a large open room with a locked door. Head to the right side of the room and you'll find a door blocked with vines. Cut these vines and enter the room to find a control panel, supplies, and a note. Read the note to learn how to access the control panel. Now that we know how to access the control panel, we need to find a computer to do so. Head back to the main room and go through the final open door. This will lead you to the maze. First, you'll need to find the first of four chalices. Follow my path on screen now to find the wind chalice. Once you find it, head back the way you came and take the first right into the maze. Follow my path to find the first of two maze exits. Once you get to the exit, open it with your woodcutter and pesticide. Here you can explore the room to find supplies. Be sure to be on the lookout for the fly traps that 172 can spawn. They can be killed using pesticide. As you explore, you'll come across a fountain that holds the water chalice. Make your way to the open door here and take a left. Open the blocked door and then continue to your left. You will find a hole in the wall guarded by a fly trap. Kill the trap and enter the room to find the fire chalice. Leave the room and make your way past the door and take a right. This will take you to a room with dead bodies hanging and a computer. Here you'll need to read the various notes to learn how to access the computer's password and the correct color name badge you need for the ID. For me, I needed to find a blue name badge. Use the pesticide to make the bodies drop and search the bodies for their ID. Once the correct one is found, write down their name which is located on the bottom front of the badge and their ID which is located on the back right of the badge. Go to the computer and use the information to access it. You'll need to type out login and the badge name. For me, it was Ghost. Then you'll need to enter in the password. The way to learn the password is on screen now. For me, my password was A6911. Then hit enter. Next, type out CD disk 01 and then type dash start backup. This will cause information to download onto a floppy disk. If you know what that is, you are old. Take the floppy disk and make your way back to the control panel in sector 5. Load it up and solve the puzzle shown on screen. 
you will need to make all the gray bars green, however you cannot leave any additional green bars or any red bars. This may take some time, but don't feel frustrated while you do it. Eventually, you'll figure it out. Watch my solution on screen now to get a better understanding of the puzzle. Once the puzzle is solved, the locked door will open. Enter it to be taken to the chapel. Here you'll need to search the ground until you found the earth chalice. I found my chalice in the upper left corner for both playthroughs. They were slightly in different spots, but they were close to each other. If you have the metal detector from the early level, use it now to easily find the chalice. Once you have all four chalices, make your way to a dead body located on a pew in the chapel. Read the note to learn where to put the chalices on the pedestals located in the center of the room. Once they're in their correct spots, a noise will sound, and you need to make your way to the second floor via the stairs near the wall. Read a note on a dead body to learn which way the statues need to face. Each sentence will mention a statue and an element. You will then use that information to determine which way the statue needs to face, as it will need to match the elements below. Once all four are correct, the bell will fall and break a large statue. Go to it to find a key. Make your way back to the maze. Here you'll need to find the second exit. Follow my path on screen now to find it. Once you enter here, step on the switch to open up the library. Read the file on the floor to learn how much each colored book costs. Next you'll need to make your way to the back of the room to find an empty shelf and a Roman numeral on the wall. If you do not know your Roman numerals, then check out this document on screen now. You will need to place the books on the shelf and make the amount equal to the number on the wall. My number was 8, so all I needed was one red book and one green book. Once you match the number, the bookcase will open and you can make your way to the exit. Congratulations, you just escaped the grass rooms from inside the back room. If you like this guide and want to see more, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Remember, I am the administrator, and be sure to always secure, contain, and protect. I'll see you next time.